Hi, my name is Joshua and this is the next part of our tutorial series about how to build a custom membership platform with Payload. In the last video we left off with having the user sign up for the service and or sign in for the service and in this video we want to talk about how to let people sign up and how to log them out. Now, as of this tutorial, there is a GitHub repository available which is under 10x media, 10x minus media, payload minus course minus membership minus next tutorial available. And to avoid that this is going to become a Next.js tutorial, we're actually going to start copying parts of the Next.js out of this repository into your own repository or into my repository that I'm currently developing. And you can, or I would encourage you to do the same as, as I said, this is not supposed to be a Next.js tutorial, but a payload tutorial. Now, what we want to do, we left off here the last time with the login. And the first thing is for the user to be able to, from this position, if he does not have an account, go to a button that says sign up. Now, let's go into our app log in and in the components there we have our login form and right below this form we're going to add a paragraph paragraph with the class name or with a margin on the top with text center text is small and it's supposed to be gray so text gray 500 in there we don't, we're going to write don't have an account. Ah, let's just take this, don't have an account. And it's going to href to sign up, which is also going to be this route we are going to create in a minute. Now, and with the sign up text, we can go back on our page. Let's reload it. Ah, did we save it? Save it, reload it, don't have an account sign up let's go there and of course there is nothing so we need to create our sign up route beneath login or in the app folder we're going to create our sign up folder sign up and in here we're going to put a page page.tsx tsx we need an actions folder and a components folder Now, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put the sign up action. And, oh, actually before that, we need to modify the customer object because up to now, actually, um, only the payload system itself can update or edit customers, but we need strangers to be able to create new customers. So we need to adapt this. Let's put me out of the way. And in the collections, we have the customers and in the customers we need beneath admin or anywhere else we put access and in access we are going to put read on true read is a function that always returns uh, no not read <laughs> create create which is always true so our Sign up action can actually create a um, user. Now we did this, we're gonna save it. And in sign up, in our action, we're going to create a file signup.ts. This is actually gonna do the heavy lifting of the sign up. And let's start with it. First, we're going to write our export function, async function sign up. It takes an object, email, comma, pa uh, and a pass, pass word, which is of the type sign up params, which we need to define now. Interface sign up params, and these consist of email and password string. Our sign up action is going to return a promise. Promise. And the promise is going to be of the type sign up response. Because later on, we're, with this, we're going to handle how the front end is going to react, react on to various processes or feedbacks from the uh, sign up. Interface sign up response. And 
and it can either be a success boolean or an error and in this case it returns a string in this in our function we need payload const payload so let's get it equals uh, wait get payload from payload simply and we're going to pass into this our config config but we need to import it from import config from add payload minus config and perfect we have our config here now this is complaining that we actually don't return a promise of this type but we're gonna change this in a minute let's try with the email and password first create to create a new user try await payload.create and there is no special function for this because this is simply a normal create function of our operation on a random collection that has the auth attribute so it's gonna be collection or it's gonna be create collection customers and as data we're going to put the email and the password email comma password now after we created our customer we are going to try to log our customer in so we are going to get an expect a result from the sign log or login function it's const result result which is or which we need to, to define it is of the type type result equals and then we have an expected number which is optional we have a token which might also not be there which is optim uh, optional this is actually actually you can find this type in the payload github itself but it's just a pain to import it actually for there so we're simply going to redefine it on this position and yes finally we need a user because with this we have all the user information from a signed up user and it's of the type customer which we get from the default type or no from the types that payload generate for us in and with this result object or to get this result object we need to call await payload payload.login and now let's format this nicely or nicer and in here we basically going to do the same as in create because we need to authenticate a user with its collection customers and it expects data which is the same as for create and with the result of this we actually get the token with which the user can authenticate himself so in here we need to check if result actually contains a token token and if so we we're ready to go we can return success else we going to return false and an error string which is login failed we also need to handle the case and we need to handle the case when the try block fails this is here we're gonna catch the error error and going to return in this case just an error occurred but of course you could do a more elaborate error handling here with if the email already exists and so on but i'm gonna leave it to you to do this here now one last thing we have to do it's if we have a result dot token we need to set the http only token cookie <laughs> which is let cookie store equals await cookies and we're going to get cookies from from where we're we going to get our cookies from next headers import cookies from next header head headers and yes no complaint anymore and our cookie store we can use to set the cookie cookie store set Let's see what we get here. Actually, we need to name this payload token. And as, oh no, this is actually not what we need. What we need to do here 
is to create an object and in this project we're gonna name the cookie payload to him. It has a value which is our result. It has an uh, it's gonna be set as HTTP only, HTTP only, which is true, and path is slash because our whole page should have access to this cookie. And with this set, our server action for signing up is ready to go. Now let's come to the front end part of this. We have our page and our page is going to show a sign up form. This sign up form is basically mainly Next.js game and we are simply going to copy it from the GitHub repository which is linked in the description. Let's go into source and in source we go into app. In app we go again into app and here in sign up components and sign up form. Simply go into the file, let's copy the raw file and let's create a new sign up form.tsx and paste it here. Now everything that this does is we define a Next.js component. Oh, one second, we got a complaint here from sign up response because we need to export that from our action sign up response. So x export this interface and the complaint is gone. In here, we are basically just displaying a form with an input, with an email, with another input for a password and another password and the submit button we created the last time. And at the end, a uh, link, do you have already an account? And then we link the user to uh, the log sign in page or in this case, log in and log in. Now, when the user clicks on the submit button, we catch this event with on submit on the form. In here, we prevent the defaults. Uh, so the page does not reload. We get the email and the passwords. We confirm or we compare the passwords if they match. If not, we give the user an error message that the passwords do not match. And in the end, we call the sign up action. And the sign up action is going to return us our sign up response, which we also defined previously. And if it is successful, we are finally rerouted to our dashboard. This we need to put now into our page TSX and our page TSX is going to be export default async function page. It returns a promise react element. Now what, what did I automatically create here? And it returns a diff with a height of calculated 100 um, vertical height and heights minus three RAM. This actually fits very well. Let's delete this for a moment. And we need to import react element, react element. Yes, we get it there. And we need to actually s display our sign up form, sign up form. Ah, yes, here we get it from our components. Let's save everything and on our sign up page should be our sign up form visible. Oh, we get an error. Okay, our problem here is that I forgot to explicitly tell that the sign up.ts is a server action or is server only. So we're simply going to add use server, save it. And yes, now it's visible and should work. Now let's try the next thing. Let's create a new account. Let's do asdf at asdf.te with a password of one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, sign up. And everything, if everything goes well, we should be routed to the dashboard. Now, there seems to something to not to work or ah, maybe we need to, yes, the dashboard is compiling. Actually it worked. So we have to wait for another second. And after our dashboard compiled again, ah, let's click. Okay, we are on our edge dashboard. And in the next video, we're going to see how to lock the user out again. Now, thank you for watching. And if you're interested in hearing more from us in the link is in the description to our newsletter, where Sandro is going to regularly feed you information and the newest tips and tricks about payload.
Link is in the description. See you in the next video.